we're back for another video <laughs> So back when the pandemic started, I used to play a lot of games. Like I used to play Osu, Apex Legends, MapleStory, Trackmania, Super Smash Brothers Melee. It's actually only five games, but um, I don't play a wide variety of games. I normally just put in a lot of hours into like one or two games at a time. So for me, I played a lot of games, but then the inevitable happened. I had to start becoming an adult. <laughs> So once I realized I had to start becoming a responsible adult, I started looking around at the technology around me and I started to think about digital minimalism and how could I implement this into my real life. And the laptop I had at the time is, um, I'm looking at it right now and it's a fucking chonker. I got this laptop I'm going to be showing you today and to say that I'm a fan of this laptop is a complete understatement. I legitimately have thought about buying an upgraded version of this one that it was just $700. I would have paid 700 American for a, a new version of this laptop. I'm even thinking about getting an IPS upgrade for it just for the fun of it and it costs as much as the laptop itself. So either way, it's fun and it's a good laptop and I think it still holds up for me at least. These are the reasons why I love this laptop design so much. So before we get any further, you may be asking yourself, Lucas, what is this laptop you're speaking of? Ugh. I'm speaking of this bad boy right here, okay? This is the Lenovo X61. It has a Core 2 Duo T7100, so it's literally the lowest end model of this laptop. It has four gigs of RAM. It has a shitty like LCD screen, no trackpad, and it has an SSD in here that I threw in here. Let me tell you, this thing's a beast. So a huge selling point for me for this laptop was the size, because let me show you guys what I was working with before, okay? This is what I was working with before, okay? This is a 15 inch 2012 Unibody MacBook Pro. And this thing weighs as much as my bag does now with everything else that I have in it. It is really fucking heavy and I did not want to use that anymore. So instead, a friend of mine gave me his X61 and I was like, okay, I'm going to daily drive this for university because all I need to do is write web documents anyways. So let's give it a shot. This, this is not to go without saying that I didn't love using the MacBook when I did have it. It I did like being completely immersed in the Apple ecosystem at the time. And then I realized that I wanted to get work done. <laughs> So I instead resulted, instead of turning off iMessage and everything on it, I bought a shit, I, I didn't buy this. I, I got given a shitty computer. Like as soon as I got my X61, I had no remorse whatsoever. The size is something I respect a lot, okay? So it is a little square. Look at this. For comparison, let me show off like the most modern computer I have in this room. So you see this has like a normal display because it has like, cause it's like a rectangle. The other one is a square and I like squares. So like you see, I use a CRT monitor already. This uses the exact same resolution as this bad boy right here. So it just felt seamless for me to get my config files from this computer and put them onto this computer because it would work exactly the same. This also does fit very well in my bag because it is a square. And although it's not thin like at all, all this is still something i love carrying around i love showing it off and this might still even be my daily driver going into third year okay so hear me out 4.3 is still usable for the most part of 2022 there are still a lot of websites that don't factor in for square displays but for the most part all you could do like all you need to do is zoom out the page a little bit and it loads exactly the same. I find myself to be more productive on a screen like this because of the lack of screen real estate. And most people want more screen real estate. I actually want less screen real estate because if I have less screen real estate in my setup, it means I'm more focused directly on what I'm doing more. So I don't have any other distractions going on around me. Like I feel like even when I write up a Google document, there's so much empty space around. This really did help me a lot. Like I was a lot more focused on everything that I did. And since this thing is so slow, I can't multitask on it, which for a lot of people is a downside, but for me, it's an upside. The most I ever need to do is open up a terminal to program and use Google. 
So if those are the only two things that I need, then I can get fine buy on this laptop from like 2006. It's underpowered, so I can't open up a YouTube video. So I can't watch YouTube on this. So instead of having to try and find songs or find specific YouTube videos that I need to watch, I'll use my other devices. My iPad I specifically use for note taking. And if I need to pull up a video for a class, I will use my iPad. But I will never use my laptop because my laptop is for doing actual work. So before I go into the methodology of why I think it's better to have a cheaper laptop that can do less, I want to talk about the thing I love the most about this, and that is the keyboard. I fucking love the keyboard. The old style of the ThinkPad keyboards just feel and sound so nice, and this is going to be really fucking short, but like... That sounds so clean. It, it just feels really sa satisfying. It's really tactile. So, so once again, you know the theme. You know what time it is. It's time to talk about the Unix philosophy and digital minimalism. So as I mentioned in my Kindle video, where I have a Kindle and it does read books and shit, and it has it all on there and it's totally separated. Like I got my ThinkPad here to do the exact same thing. All with this thing does is my schoolwork and that's it and look how fucking look how tiny it is it's like it's like on my chest like it's so small in conclusion we live in a very digitally cluttered world we're expected to do a lot it's good to always get away from it in my opinion in my eyes you don't need a lot to get the things you want to get done like get done I just do this by using old laptops and that's how I get my schoolwork done. People always talk about how they want the new MacBook, how it's better and faster and things. And all they do is like go on YouTube and like go on Google or I do all that on my shitty laptops, aside from the video editing, everything else on my shitty laptop, whatever you want, whatever goals and dreams you have, you can get it done one shitty laptop at a time. Like, yeah. So if you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up like right here um hit that subscribe button all that jazz all what all those youtuber influencers say and i'll see you guys in another one Bye bye